Earth is shifty. The Earth's crust has gotten extra shifty lately. A team of scientists set out on an expedition to discover the reason why we are experiencing the sudden change. While setting a particular plate boundary, one scientist believes she has found the answer and knows how to get Earth's heightened crustal activities to calm down. In her excitement, however, she fell in between the tectonic plates and became stuck. Every minute she slides closer and closer to the hot magma within the mantle. Use her expertise in plate tectonics to decode the clues and solve the puzzles. You have 45 minutes to free her, and in doing so, solve the problem to why we are experiencing all of the extra shiftiness. Earth is counting on you. To set up the locks, you need to set the three-digit lock to 160. You need to set the four-digit lock to 1679. The directional multi-lock should be set to left, right, left, up, down. And the last multi-lock should be a numerical multi-lock set to the code 31425. In order to set up the game, the first thing you need to do is to place the Earth Rescue sign, shown here, in the big box with some candy or some other prize. Set the four multi-locks as previously mentioned, put them on the hasp, and then place them on the big box. Place the topographic map picture cards, looks like this, in the small box with the key lock on it. You will next need to hang the Continental Drift evidence posters. So there are several posters with evidence supporting the Continental Drift theory. Only one poster has the correct evidence. Um, post those around the room and hide the crossword puzzles behind the correct one, which is purple. Next, hang the plate tectonic pictures. There's several different terms and um, plate boundaries and like the ring of fire and many pictures around the room and hide the key behind the picture of Pangea as shown here. Next, place the hint cards, the UV flashlight, the bathymetric map, the topo map picture matching clue, the whiteboard, expo marker, eraser, ruler, and iPad on the table with the big and small boxes. The expo marker with the whiteboard and the eraser are optional, um, but they are very helpful. The iPad could also be optional. Place the cipher, the topo map page, the vocab matching page, and the directional clue inside the manila envelope and hide it somewhere near the table. You will need to use the invisible ink marker to mark the boxes on the crossword puzzle that will unscramble to spell out the word Pangea. This is where they will find the key for the small lockbox. You will need to use the invisible ink marker to write find the sum and to circle um, the A and F answers for number one and the A and G answer for number two and the answer for number four on the topo map page, which looks like this. So you'll write in invisible ink, find the sum, and then you will circle just those four answers. You will need to print a bathymetric map and then color code the major plate boundaries and include a key for what type of plate boundary is um, what kind of movement. If you would rather not do this, I have provided an example, but the features on it do not come out very clear. You can purchase this from CPO equipment or you could find another one to use. But there are also interactive plate boundary sites that you could modify this part of the game to fit this clue. Here is one um, available right there.
You will need to set the iPad to the YouTube story video for this game. Or if you would prefer not to use the iPad, as I said before, it could be optional. Um, you would need to then print out the PowerPoint slide found in the shared Google Drive folder for this game. Um, and that will give you the story. You'll need to set a timer to 45 minutes and then you're good to go. How the game should flow. When students figure out the cipher clue, they will search the room for the posters, and when they find the poster with the correct list of evidence that supports the continental drift theory, they will then find the crossword puzzles behind it. Using the UV flashlight, which is on the table, they will notice boxes that are highlighted, and when they solve the puzzle and unscramble the letters in those boxes, it will spell out Pangea. When they find that poster, they will get the key for the key lock that goes to the small lockbox. When they open that, they will find the topo map and picture cards. When students shine the flashlight over the topographic map page, they will find the directions for um, finding the sum of the circled answers. When they do that, they will find the code 160 for the three-digit lock. When students match up the topographic map cards with their matching satellite pictures and fill in the topo map picture clue, which looks like this, they will notice that in order it gives the numbers to the five multi-lock numerical uh, multi-lock. Three, one, four, two, five. When students use a ruler and a marker, it is important to use a marker here to connect the um, vocabulary to their definitions. That way it's definitely going through all the numbers that it should. But when they complete all the matching, the numbers that are left over in numerical order will reveal, reveal the code one six seven nine. This is the code for the four digit lock. Using the bathymetric map and the color coded key on there, along with the um, directional clue, when they find those land features on the map and determine the movement of those plates, um, like divergent, apart, convergent together, and transform uh, going past each other. When they figure out those directions for those three land features, it will give them the directional code for the directional multi-lock. The code is left, right, left, up, down. If you think that it's too complicated to color code and correctly label everything on the bathymetric map, there is um, interactive websites that you could modify this part of the game to fit. Resources that you will need or find helpful are the iPad, a timer, the hint cards, the manila envelope, the ruler, and then optional are the whiteboard with the expo marker and the eraser. You will need to print out the Earth Rescue sign, which goes inside the large box. All the plate tectonic pictures, specifically including the Pangea one. All the posters which have the evidence list supporting uh, the continental drift theory, specifically the purple one, which has the correct list. You will need to print and label the um, Topo map cards with their matching satellite pictures and the topo map picture clue, the crossword puzzle, the bathymetric map lab, which you will need to color code the boundaries on, the directional clue, the cipher, the vocabulary matching clue the topo map clue. And if you choose not to use the iPad for the video for the introduction of the story, you can print the PowerPoint slide 
in the shared Google Drive folder.